Thanks, Simon. Thank you very much. So, hi, my name is Wendy, and I'm one of the co-founders of Colibri. Today, I want to pitch for money, uh, but uh, for clients, for all of you, so all portals, uh, pay attention. Uh, what do we do with Colibri? We personalize user experience in an easy way for both portals as real estate agents and websites. How do we do it, um, or why do we do it as a company? We as Colibri, we strongly believe that personalization is key in driving uh, yeah, more leads, more deals, more revenue, and having a higher market share. But before I want to start on how we're doing it, I want to tell you a little bit more about Alice, or showing her customer journey. So Alice is searching for a house. Um, she starts on Google, then she drops on a portal. Secondly, she moves over to a real estate agent's website. And then on the last part, she actually uh, has a physical touch point with a real estate agent or broker. Um, Alice leaves a lot of valuable information uh, on a digital way. All of this information is captured by our platform. So we track everything that Alice does, um, which pictures she sees, what kind of information she's looking at, uh, what is she um, clicking on, what she's not clicking on. And all of this information we capture and track for two reasons. First reason, we profile her. We want to know who Alice is, um, what her interests are, uh, and what she actually wants. So is Alice looking for, to buy a house? She wants uh, to actually sell one. Um, does she more Pinterest-like, uh, is looking for inspiration to renovate her kitchen or bathroom? All of this information is really valuable, uh, and we put it into a profile. So that's the first aspect. Second thing that we're doing is uh, we're looking into the customer journey, where Alice is. Is she in the beginning, where she still needs to be inspired, or is she already at the end, where she knows what she wants, and she's ready to convert? So those two things, two things we combine. We combine it, and then we start personalizing the experience of Alice. So personalization and the experience, oh, that went wrong, okay. Uh, the customer journey of Alice, a personalized customer journey, can look like this. First of all, Alice drops on uh, one of our SEO, um, automated SEO, uh, long tail or short tail pages, and then we start optimizing and personalizing uh, her search. We do it in three ways. First way uh, is the search, uh, by just actually the search listing or the results uh, we sorted. Those uh, search results that uh, will be on top will be the most relevant ones for Alice. Second part, um, if Alice still needs to be inspired, we will give her recommendations to actually help her um, further down the customer journey road. And then the last part, we will personalize the images. Because every one of you will be triggered by a different type of images. Uh, me, for example, it's a facade. Uh, it might be uh, that Simon is more interested in the kitchen uh, or in the bathroom. So depending on who you are, you want to see a different type of image as the first one. Uh, so that's the second part. And the third part, when Alice is ready, when she is down the, the customer journey to actually be triggered, to leave her details, her contact details, we will trigger her uh, via contact form, um, a personalized, uh, personalized chats, uh, or even a pop-up. So when we have her contact details, we will keep nurturing her uh, via email and actually personalize that experience as well, up until the point she's ready uh, to convert, to reach out to real estate agent, and even then we will help the real estate agent to personalize that experience as well. Because the real estate agent will have access to this profile. This is Alice. Every information we have of Alice, where she is um, in the customer journey, how big the chances she will convert, uh, what she's done uh, on the website, on all portals, so, both on Google, Portal, uh, real estate agents, and even in the SRAM system, everything is combined, and all information is here structured. To profile Alice um, and to personalize the experience, we need to do a couple of things. So first of all, data is really important. We at Colibri, we're a data company, and data is important. Garbage in is garbage out, uh, we always say. So first of all, we gather, we clean, and we enhance the data. Listing data, but also user data. And that is really important. We're not just a uh, yeah, customer data platform who focus on users. We're combining both user information and listing information, which is crucial for all real estate uh, portals around. Next step is profiling both Alice as the listings, as you as a portal as well. Because every portal is different. Uh, every uh, business um, as a portal, a drive for a portal is different. So based on all the information we capture, the profiling we've done, we will start optimizing and personalizing on an automatic way uh, the user experience of Alice. Why personalize? Oh, can we go back one? Yeah. So why personalize? Simple. All of your portals, you want to improve conversions. 
and conversions for everybody will some, be something else. It can be open rates, it can be click-through rates, it can be sending leads to real estate agents. All of those conversions will be optimized, improved, if you personalize. So that is what Colibri does. Uh, we as a company, we're here to help you um, to make that next step in the personalization process to automate and easy, uh, make it easy to automate that uh, interaction. So to drive uh, more revenue um, and to help you get a, a higher market share. So if you want to learn more, uh, we have a booth just at the right side uh, outside of the conference room. Feel free to reach out to us uh, and we'll happily um, talk to you um, and to see what kind of future uh, might bring for you personalization might bring. Thank you. Thank you. Over to who would like to go first? Okay. Ben? No? Gonzalo? I'll, I'll go first. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, great product presentation. Yes. Great. Thank you. But, uh, Not the one that's usually up No, here, but what <laughs> I mean is, uh, uh, I guess for the your potential customers might be very happy because you have a percentage of product, but since this is a pitch club, the, uh, everything, that, I mean, I know nothing about the company, I know nothing about if you're looking for money, how you make money, uh, what are the, you know, nothing. So I don't know what to ask, seriously. Mm -hmm. I, I like what you're doing. Perfect. And I'm, uh, I've been very, you know, involved in that as well in my, you know, in my career, and, uh, and I totally understand what you're doing, but um, I don't know anything about the company. That's what my, uh, so if, if you are going to pitch with, you know, a, for, for potential investors or whatever, uh, you should talk about the company, not only about the product. Yeah. We're not looking for investors, uh, we're looking for your companies, which you're invested Perfect. in to become a client of ours. Perfect. No, I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions, Ben? Uh, well, just about the product. Yes. How, how does it integrate with the portal? How, how does it work? Is it a software product? What are you actually doing for the portal? Um, so, if to integrate, we need two things. Uh, we need access to the listing database, um, which we yeah, take into our systems, process it, uh, and enhance it. So, so we have NLP systems, image recognition, to actually enhance uh, the listing information. And then we track users. Uh, so we have our own tracking system developed. That is the, the starting point. And then everything, um, which right, we have like a menu card uh, with options you can choose. So either you say, OK, um, I want um, to have a recommendation engine of Colibri, um, then it's an API call you make. Or you say, um, we, want Colibri, we have this issue. We want to have uh, our conversion rate in general to be improved. Then we as a company come in, and we will help you, guide you uh, in what kind of solutions, what kind of low-hanging fruit implementations you need as a first step. And do you um, take it further and do the remarketing, retargeting yes. off the portal? And is that a service that you're selling into the portals as well? We help the marketing teams. Um, so we have an exploration tool as well where marketing teams can look at audiences. Um, so if, for example, a um, marketing team wants to target um, those customer groups or user groups who had a high activity level, who dropped to a low activity level, um, who were searching for an apartment in London for a given amount of money, um, then they can explore that audience group, define it, and then use it to retarget and remarket. Last one. Um, so you deal with the portals, but at some point in that presentation, you said you followed the journey through to the agent side. Yes. Does that mean you need a contract with the portal and every agent that sits on there to so be? It's a portal who's managing that. Um, so it's a Belgian portal. Um, and uh, Emoscoop is it's a unique case. We have a couple of cases in the Netherlands as well. But uh, Emoscoop is um, yeah, owned partially or half uh, by real estate agents. So that makes the process easier. Uh, and it's a portal who's handling the contracts. Um, but indeed, we need a contract, and GDPR-wise as well, the customers need to, um, to give consent. Okay, thanks. Ryan, which markets do you operate in? So, um, at the moment, we have both portal and real estate agent products. Uh, portal is global. Um, we have, uh, I've been speaking yesterday morning uh, with Australia uh, company, Urban, over there. Uh, we're in, Mex in Mexico, for example. Um, real estate agents-wise, um, we started in Belgium um, during COVID. Um, that was a shift for us. We saw an opportunity over there as well. We're now active, um, or we will be active thanks to Alpimo somewhere around, uh, which uh, we integrate and will resell us. Uh, and in the Netherlands, we start moving as well. Okay, and what's the business model? How do you get paid? Uh, it's a SaaS um, fee, um, so um, based on the amount of data we process, uh, so user and listings um, and the type of products, um, it's a different type of SaaS fee. Okay. 
Wendy, thank you very much. Um, it's a very interesting business. Um, I think it, it, it'll be interesting to see how you grow over time and when you do want to raise money, let's bolt on some stuff around the business and uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you.